In this week's episode of Erased, time travel finally begins to bite Satoru Fujinuma right in the ass, as it seems like he has seemingly failed in his mission to save Kaio Hinazuki. He is suddenly thrust back into the year of 2006, right where his mother has just been killed by a mysterious killer, and just when you think things are about to get better, they get a lot worse. This episode right here completely threw me for a loop because I thought there was going to be some sort of twist where maybe there was the possibility that Kaio Hinazuki was just sort of like fainting here. The fact that she'd been kidnapped. Maybe she was just sick. Maybe she was just staying at a relative's house. It's still kind of unclear what has actually happened to Kaio Hinazuki. There is a scene at the beginning of the episode where you see her mother and her boyfriend and they seem a little worried about this situation. And you can see that there is a body in their apartment which I'm guessing is Kaio Hinazuki. She's either been killed by her parents and boyfriend, or she has just been severely beaten and they're trying to cover it up and they sent her away. It's hard to say, but her mother seems to be pretty happy about the situation when she's smiling as she's taking out the garbage which has her mittens in it, in a scene which completely causes Satoru to completely freak out. The shock caused by these events makes revival kick in and that's when Satoru is finally thrust forward in time back to when he is a 29 year old. Now this is where you think things might change but they actually go back exactly the way they were except for some minor details because now that some of the events in the past have changed some of them have been affected in the future. A lot of things that he learned about the children being killed, certain dates have now been moved around, other kids have ended up getting abducted yet there are still events that are still bad. The biggest one being that his mother has been killed by a mysterious killer who may or may not have been shown in this episode. They keep trying to throw all these different red herrings at us, and they throw it a lot this week. So you have Satoru, who is desperately trying to escape from the police and also trying to find someone friendly who can help him out. The first person that he ends up running into is his manager at the pizza restaurant, who at first honestly does seem like a nice guy, and he truly does seem to have some decent intentions. So decent, in fact, that he decides to actually call the cops and that causes Satoru to have to run away. But luckily, he runs into his friend Irie and decides to stay with her at her house. Now, Irie is constantly looking out for the well-being of Satoru. She seems to have something of a small crush on him, or she's just really good friends with the character. And this, of course, leads to another tension-filled part of the episode where she's getting involved with everything that's going on. Thus, she's actually putting her head on the chopping block. She's actually going to be a big target for this killer at the very end of the episode. Not only that, but she has to look out for her other co-workers, such as the manager again, who's basically following her around, which honestly does come across as a little creepy, but also he's trying to figure out what's really going on with Satoru. He was talking to this one guy in a suit midway through the episode, who sort of fits the bill of the killer. They're not showing his face outright, and he could be fainting his actual position to get closer and sort of erase all of these events which are going on and by the end of the episode Satoru could no longer stay with Irie and Irie is trapped inside of her house as it is literally getting burnt down by this supposed killer. He even has Satoru's mother's phone and sends her a text telling her not to leave anywhere. It's incredibly disturbing and very very messed up. Now will Irie survive? Probably, although this could go into some even more dark territory. I have a feeling that Satoru is probably going to bust in any moment, but Irie is kind of a tough chick. The way she ended up decking the manager in the face in this episode was honestly pretty shocking, and I didn't expect it to go that route whatsoever. You don't want to mess with this chick. So, what's the rundown on this week's episode of Erased? One of my theories actually came true, where he decided to go back in time and there's still the small possibility that he might be able to actually trigger a revival again so that he can return to the past. Is he going to return to the same exact time he was before, or just like a moment before that happened? It's kind of hard to say because he doesn't really have a lot of control over how this time travel works, and it's a phenomenon that is yet to be explained in the episode, and yet it's sort of the glue that's holding everything together. Probably going to be some sort of event, some incredibly tragic which is going to send out another trigger which is going to send him back into time and this whole Irie event might actually be what causes that. Again though the thing that's most interesting about this episode is trying to figure out 
who the actual killer is. There's so much evidence for all of these different characters, some of them being red herrings. I'm sure there's going to be one hell of a shocking plot twist by the end of the series, and this is something that maybe even manga readers don't know what's going to happen, because apparently the manga version of this series is going to wrap up in March around the same exact time as the anime version of the series, which means we're either going to just see the ending at the same time, or maybe even a little earlier, but they have said that the anime version is going to have the same exact ending, which is going to be portrayed in the manga version, and I cannot wait to see how they're going to wrap up this story. It still has me at the edge of my seat every single week, with all the major plot twists and playing with time travel and I just really hope that Satoru is going to get out of this because he is having a pretty shitty day. On the technical side of things, just like the rest of the series, very good character designs. They're all very distinct from one another. It's still an incredibly atmospheric show, which uses this environment to tell most of its story, which I still think is pretty damned impressive. There are also some really great sequences from this episode, and I have to admit, despite the fact that he did fail and he went forward in time, it's mixing things up, it's sort of freshening things up by going back in time and seeing this modern setting again, and getting to see Satoru as a much older kid, because we didn't really get to experience much of that. You know, we haven't seen anything like this since the first episode of the series. So, lots of great mystery from this one. I'm still not quite sure who the killer is. I had a lot of theories watching this episode. It's, it's either going to be a combination of Kaio's parents. It could very well be the pizza manager. It could be the guy that the pizza manager was talking to. It could very well be the actual teacher when he was a student in 1988. There are so many candidates. We might never know at all. It's still a complete mystery. We're just going to have to to wait and see. But if you're looking for a suspenseful mystery anime series, check out Erased. It's a show you will not be disappointed in viewing. So I liked this episode a lot. I loved all the twists and turns, and just like the last couple of episodes, it managed to blow me away. So I'm going to give this week's episode a 5 out of 5. Another high caliber episode of Erased, which if you're an anime fan, you should definitely check out. But if you did watch this week's episode of Erased, make sure to tell me what you thought about it in the comment section below. Do you have any theories as to who the killer is or what's really going on in this story right here? Was it the killer who actually decided to trap Irene in the house and set it on fire? Do you believe that Satoru is going to travel back to 1988 and how's that going to go down? Make sure to tell me in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching this review. Make sure to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, stay dandy, baby!